Today we're going to look at volume and capacity. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space that is occupied by some object or material. So whereas area is a two-dimensional space and uh, length is, is one-dimensional, it goes along in one direction, the uh, surface area goes out in two directions, area goes out in two directions, uh, volume goes out in three directions. It can go out uh, in, in length, in width, and in height as well, or depth. And capacity, very similar to volume, there's, there's not much difference between them, but capacity is the potential volume for a container that a container can have. So a capacity would uh, is usually a container that a liquid or a gas can fill, um, and the capacity is, is often given in, in litres, and the volume is often given in um, cubic metres, or a, a similar um, unit for that. So if we're going to find the volume of a basic rectangular prism, it's got a length, a width and a height, the, the volume is, the multi is multiplying all those three together, length times width times height. Um, and the reason for that is that you can see uh, length times width would be the area of the base, and then if we start building it up into the third dimension, we're starting to build it up by a factor of h, by h high. So we've got the length times with the area of the base and we're building it up um, by the height. So multiplying it by a third dimension. So here we've got a first dimension of length, so that would be distance. Um, a second dimension then, length times width would make it area. And height being that third dimension. So the volume, um, to find the volume of, of any, any rectangular prism, you just need to multiply the length times the width times the height. The volume of a cube, easier again. If you've got a cube here and every side is the same, the length is the same as the width and, the, and it's the same as the height. We've just got the length cubed. One of the sides times, uh, times itself three times. So length times length times length. So length cubed, that's the volume of a cube. Now with units, with cubic units, um, similar to square units, uh, often comes a little bit of confusion. Here we've got two types of units we can look at. We can look at cubic metres and litres. If we just look at cubic metres first, we can see that uh, if we're changing from cubic kilometres to cubic metres, uh, we, we, need, we need to, there are more metre, cubic metres um, than cubic in, in one cubic kilometre. Um, we need to multiply not just by a thousand, but by a thousand cubed. One thousand times one thousand times one thousand. And the reason for that is because we don't just have um, it in one dimension, we don't have it just have it in two dimensions, we've got three dimensions of kilometres. So we've got th um, uh, three times, um, or, or, or that amount times three times. So we've got a thousand times a thousand times a thousand to get the number of metres cubed. To go from metres to centimetres, just metres to centimetres, normally we would just multiply by 100. But once again, we've got three dimensions this time. Not just one dimension, we've got three dimensions. So we need to multiply by 100 times 100 times 100, or times 100 cubed. And going from centimetres to millimetres, we would normally multiply by 10. But once again, we've got three dimensions now, not just the one dimension. We've got three dimensions. So we need to multiply by 10 by 10 by 10, so multiply by 10 cubed. And going the opposite direction, we just divide by those same numbers, because we're going to be getting um, the number of centimetres that's in one millimetre is smaller, etc, etc. Et so if we look at litres now, uh, we've got here the big M, compared to a little m here, the little m is milli, but the big M, the capital M, is, stands for mega, megalitre, like megabyte, and mega stands for one million. Okay, so we've got a megalitre is a million litres. Kilo here, kilo thousand. Kilo is a thousand, so that's a thousand litres. We've got litres, and millilitres is one thousandth of a litre. So here, much easier to convert between um, the litre, different litre units. Uh, going from megalitres to kilolitres, we multiply by a thousand. Kilolitres to litres, we multiply by a thousand. And litres to millilitres, we multiply by a thousand. And going back the other way, we divide by those same values, those same um, amounts. There are a couple of conversions between cubic metres and litres. So if I've got one cubic centimetre, one cubic centimetre, it's one centimetre by one centimetre by one centimetre, so it's a small amount. 
that's exactly the same as one milliliter. So one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimetre. Very easy to convert between the two. They're exactly the same amount, the same capacity, the same volume. With, if I have a one cubic metre, however, that's equivalent to a thousand litres. So one cubic metre can hold 1,000 litres. Think about that, that's one metre by one metre by one metre tall. Okay, so it is a very large amount. That's going to be 500 milk bottles that we can fit into one cubic metre. So just remember, when we're converting between the units, we need to make sure that if we're converting cubic units, that we multiply by the cubic uh, equivalent. And the reason for that is because we're multiplying in three dimensions, or dividing in three dimensions, not just the one dimension. But if we've got litres, litres is just a capacity, it's a, it's a, um, a regular conversion. Um, one megalitre is a million litres, one kilolitre is a thousand litres. So, um, if we're going from litres to megalitres, we multiply by, uh, divide by a thousand, sorry, and divide by a thousand again. And that will get the value in megalitres. If we divide by a thousand and divide by a thousand, it's the same as dividing by one million. We've got the millilitres there as well. So let's have a look at, it, at, at some examples. Firstly, uh, find the volume of this rectangular prism here. We've got a rectangular prism that's uh, four metres long, uh, six metres wide and two metres high. So if we're going to do that, we've got the volume equals length times width times height. Um, so that's just six. Um, the length times four width times the height of two. And that's 48. That, the value there is 48. Um, notice that I, I think I mixed up whether which was the length and width. It really doesn't matter. Um, if you think about it, you can you can rotate um, and flip a, a box or a rectangular prism, and the length becomes the width, and the width becomes the height. It doesn't matter um, because if you multiply these in any order, we'll still get the same value. So our value for the volume is 48, and the units we've got are cubic metres, because we've got metres, metres, metres. That doesn't mean you have to cube anything. Metres cubed is its own unit in itself. What that's saying is that we've got 48 uh, uh, singular cubic metres. So one cubic metre is one metre by one metre by one metre. It's an amount, an amount that we have, a volume that we have. We've got 48 times that much. We've got 48 of those cubic metres. It's, it's related to um, square metres and metres, but it is not the same. We don't have to do anything else with that. We have, by multiplying, given it three dimensions. We've multiplied it by with three numbers. One, two, three. And that's what makes up the three dimensions. So three dimensions, it's multiplying three times or multiplying three values. So that's all that three there means. It doesn't mean that you have to cube anything else. Okay, it doesn't mean you have to press the cube uh, button on your calculator. Don't do that. So here, for, for part B, we're asked to find the capacity in litres for a rectangular prism 20 centimetres long, 10 centimetres wide and 15 centimetres high. So here, 20, uh, we just substitute into our formula, 20 for length, 10 for width and 15 for height. So multiplying them all. And that yields 3,000 cubic centimetres. So that's 3,000 tiny cubic centimetres. Now we know that to convert to litres, we need to get it in litres, that's what we've been asked to do. Um, to convert to litres, we know that one cubic centimetre is the same as one millilitre. So we can say that one cubic centimetre is one millilitre. So 3,000 cubic centimetres is 3,000 millilitres. Now, to get that in litres, we've been asked to put in litres, uh, we can just take go from millilitres to litres, and in order to do that, we just need to divide by 1,000. And we get our answer there, which is three litres.